Okay, we're in my shop again this morning. Um, I, I, many who, uh, who know me know that I'm a huge proponent of overcurrent protection on batteries. What we're looking at here is a 300 amp marine rated battery fuse. Um, you can see the rating of the fuse right there if the camera will focus that small. I don't think it will, but, um, but anyway. Um, you know, my argument has always been uh, that any fuse within good reason, uh, obviously, is better than no fuse at all. And uh, the ABYC does allow for an exemption for starting motor circuits. Uh, but, you know, my argument is that, you know, on, on, a, on a boat with a 1-2 bolt switch, either bank could be the starting bank, and either bank could be the house bank. And, uh, you know, on small motors, such as on sailboats, uh, or some of the small gas engines, and we can easily fuse these banks for not a heck of a lot of money. Um, what I've done today is I've got um, about 15 feet of 8 gauge wire on a 300 amp fuse. The whole thing is connected to a 400 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery bank, uh, which can throw well over 20,000 amps of short circuit current into this. And, and my point here is that this fuse is grossly oversized by ABYC standards for this wire um, and I, I don't suggest that any of you try this at home um, and here's the battery switch I've got it upside down so you can see it and there's there's the rest of the 8 gauge cable um, you know and this is this is the battery bank here uh, it's a pretty massive 400 amp hour lithium bank and I've also got my clippers here just in case something were to go wrong uh, because this, I've never done this before, um, these fuses are about $15 a piece, so uh, you guys are going to see this for the first time uh, when I see it, but I, I have uh, shorted um, other fuses and, and done this before, so I, I have a rough idea of what's going to happen. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to set my uh, fluke meter to um, inrush current, um, so hopefully it'll capture you know what, what kind of current we see. I'm going to have my wire cutters in hand just in case I need to snip that and um, I am going to uh, simply flip the battery switch here and we're going to watch what happens. One, two, three, boom, there goes the fuse. And um, as we can see, uh, we overloaded the inrush circuit on this uh, 1000 amp uh, fluke clamp meter. Um, that fuse blew within a split second of me flipping that switch. Um, this wire is not even warm to the touch. Um, I'm not seeing any signs of melting. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to remove the camera from the tripod here. Um, as we can see, we just shmemmied that fuse. Uh, so what we're trying to protect with uh, with these battery bank fuses is the wire. We're protecting the wire. And in a dead short circuit, which is what we're trying to protect against, we've just witnessed that a 300 amp fuse, uh, you know, we're not going to melt this 8 gauge wire. We're not going to destroy the wire. We're not going to create a fire. Um, again, I absolutely do not recommend this. The, the, you know, the ABYC standard allows you to go for hundred and fifty percent of the max ampacity however there are going to be situations when you want to fuse a motor and uh... you know maybe max ampacity is two hundred and fifty amps and you might need to go to three hundred you know just so you don't have any nuisance blows i don't think that's going to be a problem um, again we're you know we're, we're we're protecting the wire and that's that's the idea and as you can see um, i mean i had a a um, very expensive fluke meter around this wire. I was really willing to risk that. I, I, I knew this wasn't going to catch on fire. Um, and I knew the fuse would blow. Uh, and here's a worst case scenario because we are now dealing with uh, one of the most vicious types of battery banks in terms of blowing any sort of fuse. I mean this this bank right here exceeds the amperage interrupt capacity of this fuse. And we witnessed that fuse blow. It was a big spark. I mean it it literally just toasted it in a, in a fraction of a second. So even an 8 gauge wire, uh, which is what this is, this is 105C wire uh, marine uh, uh, cable. So it is 105, the jacket's rated for 105 degrees Celsius. Uh, I just ran it through a standard 
on off battery switch and that switch is still turning perfectly um, so you know uh, my my big argument and I will say it again um, I consider any fuse in a system to be safer than no fuse at all and uh, you know if, if, if it comes down to fusing your engine and the option is no fuse or be safe and fuse my engine with a slightly larger fuse than than what is recommended I would personally opt for the larger fuse um, because it's it's no worse than no fuse at all so that was my point here today um, you know I know many would it would sit there and say oh it can't be done you're gonna you're gonna ignite that wire into flames absolutely not true uh, and as a matter of fact I use this lithium bank for exactly that reason because no battery on the planet has this kind of current uh, that we currently see in boats so Hope that helps uh, on the education process uh, towards uh, fusing your boat and um, gives you some sort of uh, an, a basis, anyway, to draw your own conclusions. I'm, I'm not recommending at all fusing a cage wire with a 300 amp fuse. Absolutely not. But uh, I just used it for illustrative purposes. So be safe and, uh, and do your research. And uh, don't just listen to what I say, but go out there and and find your own information and, and be safe on your boat.